Welcome to another video from SwanseaTechSupport.co.uk Continuing with the series on using pivot tables to group data into half hour time intervals I'm going to be demonstrating a macro that can copy an entire workbook and add the time interval column onto each sheet of the new workbook Finally we will be saving that new workbook with a new name on the left hand side here you can see that I've got the macro that I'm going to be working with. On the right hand side you can see I've got a workbook here but it's uh, got lots of uh, sheet, well, a few sheets here and we're going to be working through copying each of these sheets to a new workbook. So let's begin stepping through the code here. So first thing I'm going to do is to create a new workbook with one sheet okay which is what it's done there and we got one sheet down the bottom which is perfect and then we want to loop through the sheets in the original workbook WBO is uh, what I refer to the original workbook and we're going to copy each sheet into the new workbook so as we can see down here it comes up there copy January so we should be on to February yep yeah, there it is Okay, we're just going to keep looping through here. Okay, got April. And now it's done May. And now you notice that I've now got sheet one here. Um, I, and I've just set it to delete the sheet one. There we go. Now it's that done. And then the next stage now is to insert the interval column into column B of each worksheet. So we're going to select the first worksheet, which will be January. It'll select uh, column B, and then it'll insert uh, a new column. We'll call that the interval column, or whatever you like, but I'm, I've set it to call it the interval column. Um, I've, I'm then going to copy that formula that I normally use to round these down to the nearest half hour throughout all of this um, column there. And then we're done on that one and it'll just keep doing that for each sheet. Okay, so I'll just uh, l let that run through. So we've got every single sheet now has this interval column on it. Okay, now next thing we're doing is we're going to be adding those dummy rows so that where we have uh, the 12.30 missing there, it's going to add that in and any other values that are missing there. So I'll do the same thing, looping through each sheet of this. Select that worksheet, so select the first worksheet for January here. It's going to then loop through each row of that. Okay, that's my error handler. Whew. Okay, it checks now if the value of this cell is uh, is that half an hour difference between that and that, and if not, it's going to add the um, extra row in. Come back here. Okay, let's just run through that. Okay, let's run through that because that's a bit boring. Okay, so has that worked? Come over here, come down. Oh, I, I stopped it too soon, that's why. Okay, let's run through. Five, yep, there we go. We've got our values in there that it's adding in. So that's all working fine. So now let's just do that it's going to loop through now it's just done January I'm going to loop it through to have all the call all the uh, worksheets do the same thing okay and there we done it we're on May and yep that's worked just fine for May next thing we're going to do is to save the this new workbook it's currently named as sheet 2 but we want to uh, name this with a new name I'm just calling it I don't know July data for the time being but we can uh, change this and actually call it whatever we want or um, we can uh, put today's date on the file if uh, it has to be um, and if we want to name the file as uh, 23rd of July or whatever you want so I'm going to name that file then as July data for the moment. Oops. 
Okay, and we're done. So we now got this saved as July data, and we've also got then still our original sheet without the interval column and everything else is still there as well. And now if we maximize that, we can click any of these now and just create our pivot table from this data. So I'll just select that new worksheet OK. And that now will give me a new sheet. So I can just drag my interval column down to my row labels and as normal I can uh, select my values. Okay, and there we have it. We can do that for as many or as few of the uh, worksheets as we like. Okay, I hope you found that interesting. The, the uh, code for that macro will be up on the uh, website uh, www.swanseatechsupport.co.uk. I'll, I'll be posting a link to that beneath the video when the uh, code is up online. All right, I will see you in the next video.